Banks and legal marijuana dealers have gotten the go-ahead to do business together. That is big news in states where pot sales are legal. Federal authorities say banks can provide basic services to marijuana shops without fear of prosecution. Jeff Begays is in our Washington bureau with more. Good morning, Jeff. Good morning, Vanita and Anthony. This means marijuana sellers in states where the drug is legal will be able to open savings and checking accounts just like any other business, but with one major caveat. The banks have to verify that the sellers aren't breaking laws. The new guidelines are meant to help banks vet marijuana businesses and reduce the risk of prosecution. It urges financial institutions to review the legitimacy of the marijuana sellers they do business with, regularly file reports, and flag any contacts with suspicious sellers. It is um, a, an attempt to deal with a reality that exists in these states. A Justice Department spokesman says the guidelines are intended to increase the availability of financial services for marijuana businesses that are licensed and regulated, while at the same time preserving and enhancing important law enforcement tools. Currently, Washington and Colorado are the only states in the nation where marijuana can be used recreationally. 18 additional states and the District of Columbia allow for medical marijuana use. Despite the drug being legal in some states, the use of marijuana is still considered illegal under federal law, and processing money for marijuana puts federally insured banks at risk of potential charges, a dilemma Attorney General Eric Holder recently expressed concerns about. There's a public safety component to this. Um, you know, huge amounts of cash, substantial amounts of cash just kind of lying around with no place for it to be um, appropriately deposited is something that would uh, worry me just from a law enforcement perspective. But the new guidelines may not go far enough. A spokesperson for the Colorado Bankers Association says we were hoping to get a yellow light today. Instead, this was a reddish-orange light. This memo makes it clear that financial institutions can still be prosecuted. And from the American Bankers Association, as it stands, possession or distribution of marijuana violates federal law. And banks that provide support for those activities face the risk of prosecution and assorted sanctions. Some financial institutions believe some of the guidelines outlined by the Justice Department are impossible to meet, and they believe the only way to clear up the confusion is to change the laws. Anthony? Jeff Begay in Washington. Thank you, Jeff.